Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to have a look at Riffler, a fantastic instant riff guitar generator, completely copyright free, which is fantastic news. Um, before I go into the details of the tutorial, please uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already, as it helps with growing the channel. As you can see, it's a standalone application and it generates a really fantastic guitar riff, which really helps you a lot, particularly in your practicing. Of course, if you are a guitar player, which uh, I am and I do really like and enjoy playing my electric guitar. And you can see on the screen here, you have your um, tabs for uh, your riff and underneath the, the tablature, you have also the rhythm stems, which helps you with um, following through the right rhythm and you can customize the way it looks as well like going through the options at the bottom here you have a create option create allows you to uh, effectively regenerate uh, a riff based on the parameters that you have currently selected you can play and stop the riff you can randomize not only the riff but also the parameters clicking on random and this, um, the way that you randomize also uh, w the parameters depends on the settings which you have uh, underneath here, which you can further configure. You can save your, so your favorite uh, riff once you have generated it. You can go back to the home page, which is what you see at the moment. You can decide to lock, for example, a measure, the first half or the second half, or measure two, first half and second line, uh, half, and so on. Um, so that you can decide, for example, to keep some measures as they are, so they're not impact here, as it says up here when you create, when you click on the create button, and you have option to lock all, to unlock all, and also to invert the locking. Here is where you have access to what you saved before, and here you have access to the different parameters inside Riffler, um, which there are a few. And then you have access also to a help menu, quick start, and also an explanation of controls. Well, let's go back to the home page. Right at the top, you see zoom in, zoom out, and also you can see um, an ability to share in a WAV file and also on a MIDI file or export or an import also RIFO file, which is quite nice because you can export between different instances of the app. Um, the export to MIDI file is really good, really, really helpful because it, it allows you to export the riff, of course, to, for example, DO. Um, on the top left-hand side, you have controls for undo and redo, which allows you to move, for example, if you're generating different um, riffs between the previous one and the next one. And then on the left, top left-hand side here, you have actions to access, sorry, to uh, different uh, additional settings for your riff. Now, the first thing to do is to click on preset here and choose one preset. So let's say, and in this case, I've chose preset rock classic. It started to play straight away, which you can change that. You can go into the settings here and say autoplay audio and you can disable it. I find that for the tutorial is better to disable it, but then of course when you generate lots of different riffs, you want to have that uh, autoplay on so that you can move uh, from one generated riff to the next one very quickly and play straight away. So the, the one which you heard now is this preset called the Rock Classic. I quite particularly like neoclassical as a type of uh, genre. So let's try this one. And as you can see, you can choose between different lengths here, between one, two, four, or eight different measure. And of course, you can scroll up and down to have a look at what has been generated. In this case, what has been called from the preset. Let's play. <laughs> And of course, when he reaches the end, it will start again. Um, so it goes into a loop. But let's choose the neoclassical two. In this case, you, we have only eight, me sorry, eight, four measures. So let's click play. So 
So as you can hear, really, really nice. And if I you click create now, um, what you will do, it will create another riff gener using the parameters which have been selected uh, when you loaded this preset, which in this case is almost like creative variation of what you have. Let's click play. <laughs> And as you can see, you have selection for tempo, for the keys, uh, your scale, which can be different types. If you set it to auto, actually, you have the ability to change the character as well for your riff, but that is, of course, up to you. And you have the ability to change the tune it from standard or you have other options. Of course, drop D, C standard, etc., which you will appreciate if you are a guitar player. Here you have your fill, which is very important. You can set that to be auto, but you can have a swing type of feel. You can have a funk type of feel, 16th and 8th. For me, because I really like neoclassical, I normally go for a 16th, but that, of course, up to you. Um, you can also see scrolling down here, you have uh, some selection of uh, the sound. So in this case, we're using a tight distortion, but we could go for loose distortion. As well, you can go, for example, for fuzz. Or, for example, for uh, a nice crunch. And you have, of course, also clean and dry. And um, you, you have also the selection for a delay. So you can choose a long delay, rhythm, rhythmic delay, subtle delay, so or have it simply off, which um, is quite interesting. So before going forward with other parameters, let's choose other presets. So let's go for rock power chord. <laughs> Okay, let's choose uh, some others as well. Blues uh, um, Shuffle. And of course, you have a um, lot of different presets, funk, metal, um, clean, extra, and also some uh, experimental as well. Something that has been added recently where you can enable here at the bottom your uh, harmony guitars in, as an experimental feature. So let's listen. Which is quite nice, isn't it? You have that harmony as a guitar. So it's really, really cool. Let's try a couple of other presets. For example, these funk bluesy. <laughs> Really nice indeed. So other controls you can humanize. Uh, so it will introduce some errors to seem to simulate effectively a real guitar uh, playing. You can change the range in terms of, of how you will go about generating your patterns. Of course, the wider the range, the more distance will be the notes from each other. Of course, it will be uh, based on a random generation of your riff. You can make it more melodic or less me melodic. You can increase your rhythms, okay, which uh, will therefore generate more applicable chords. You can have more gaps within the generation. Sorry, the, the, the rhythmic part will actually create more rhythm into, into, into your riff, while the chord selection here will introduce more. <laughs> And uh, in um, in your riff terms, of course, depending on the different selection that you have available. And you can also r add runs as well, and which you can see will get more complex as a type uh, of riff. You can decide when there are sustain um, point if it will play a rest or if it will continue to hold that note. You can decide also to change the second or fourth bar ending length from being automatic off one, two, four. So lots of different options. 
As I mentioned earlier on, if you click on the random button, it will randomize different parameters. Okay, you can click um, random as many times as you like and you can generate different rhythms. So look at this one, you have a lot of power chords. So you can see the chords here set to the nine. Let's play. As I mentioned earlier on here, you have some settings. So here you can enable, for example, um, if you want the drum zone, if you want double tracking, if you want the uh, loop audio, we have seen already the autoplay audio, which will play straight away when you make some changes. If you want to do an export, you can include the drums, the double tracking, the delay effect. And if you want a no tail, yes or no, you can have also option in terms of what you can export. You can, um, for example, transpose it up an octave, down an octave, up two octaves. You can include drums as well in the MIDI export alongside um, drums in, in the previous section where we were exporting uh, from an audio point of view. And then you have also some tablature option here if you want to display rhythm stems uh, and also the reef title. At the very top, you see also randomization parameters. If you click on it, you can decide what the randomized button will randomize. So in this case, it's randomized the tempo, the key, the scale, but not the tuning, not the length, not the sound, and not the delay. But you could say randomize the sound. Thank you very much. And then you have all the other options in terms of what he randomizes. For example, let's enable the feel as well. And then let's go back to the main page and click random. And you will see it will change also the sound. Let's try again. In this case, it chose a sound type of fuzz. Let's play. As you can see, when I click random, it generates a new riff with different uh, setting for the parameters, but then it doesn't autoplay. So as I mentioned earlier, you will see that after a while, you will turn this on so that you can click quickly on random to generate a new riff and have it and have Riffler to play instantly the riff. So let's try. Sometimes when I found something that sounds nice using the random function, I go to the different parameters and I change what uh, I think I would like to see change. So for example, I could say, well, okay, uh, let's have a look. Do we have here play rest? Yes, that's fine. Runs a maximum because I like that. Maybe uh, I increase the rhythm to maximum, make it slightly more melodic and um, I change the feel to 16th and I click generate uh, create now instead of randomize because I want to keep the parameters as I set them. Perhaps I increase the speed a little bit. So And this sounds actually quite nice. So when I find something that I really like, I click on save and it will say, it will say a uh, riff saved. And of course I can call them back, click on this star and I can go back to the one which I loaded. <laughs> As you can see, when you make a change, it starts to play straight away, which is something that you either like it or don't. But of course, for a tutorial, it's not nice to have, uh, have it on. But let me load ad other rifts which are previously generated. <laughs> And when you find something that you really like, hit the, the create button, generate a new one and play it. 
Let's load another one, the last one we saved, and let's click load. So as you can see, uh, quite a lot of options to use inside Riffler. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and see you at the next video. Thank you. Bye.